looking away to start us off. Looking for blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Arkansas Razorbacks offense will get the first swing of the game. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so much. You can move him all over the field, and you can really highlight a guy of his ability. Too big for safeties to cover and too fast for linebackers to cover. This is a weapon they've got to take advantage of. These two conferences have been tied together for years through the Sugar Bowl, a little testiness with the whole Texas-Oklahoma thing, and now the rivalry on the field between the Big 12 and the SEC. Yeah, and conference realignments played a big factor, too, between these two conferences. Think back to when Texas A&M and Missouri joined the SEC. So this is always a fun one to watch, David. Wide open offense from the Big 12, and then you get the physicality and the speed from the SEC. I think you nailed it right there. Two totally different worlds. They live in different worlds all the time. One is is pitchy pitchy woo woo throw it around all over the yard the other one physicality which style can present itself today and win the ball game they'll run it from the gun defense there to stop him after a two yard game to the 31 third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off fires to the right he's got it a quick tackle made but he's got plenty for the first down and the Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Handoff from the gun. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He'll do it himself. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. The seventh play of this opening drive, they'll need to move the chains on third and short. They go to the draw. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Razorbacks will punt it away on fourth down. Promising start to that drive sort of fizzled out, and they'll have to punt it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The Oklahoma State's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job on it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Cowboys moving quickly to the line. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. It's a draw. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Let's see what they do on third down. To the air. It's Bowman. And the tackle was made, but there has been a flag thrown. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And the Cowboys will punt this one away. That play didn't have much of a chance to get the first down. Good job by the defense keeping everything in front. Great job keeping everything in front, and most importantly, making the tackles. Dropping back deep, knowing he's third and long, but I gotta get the guy on the ground and rally to the football. Nice job by the defense. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Early movement on the offense, and they'll push it back five yards. They'll start, start the offense. offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
After the step off, now they have to deal with first and 15. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. They'll give it to the back. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Trying to get to it. Makes his connection. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. And the Razorbacks come to the line with a new set of downs. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. Makes it past the marker. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. They go to the ground. Got enough space. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. He'll try to tack on one more. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. The give to the back. Got the first down and more. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. They really got things moving on this drive. Second play of the drive comes from the 37. Got his man. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give him a first down. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. Back to throw, it's Bowman. Good quickness to grab it off the bounce. This offense has a second down play. That's why everybody has to do the tip drill. DBs and receivers, and it worked out this time for the offense. That's exciting. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the right. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Cowboys will call on their punt team. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Running behind that left side. And he's going to wind up losing a couple of yards as time expires here in the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Arkansas has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. 
Caught over the middle. It's pressing. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Back open in the middle. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Offense in an empty set. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're facing a third down. Third down coming up. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the Cowboys are moving quickly down the field. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first time. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. From the gun, running back on the move. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Personal foul. It's been said over and over, you have to protect players' head and neck area. This penalty, so important at the college level. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He makes the stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leads them in second and manageable. The Cowboys look to do some damage in the red zone. Running the red zone, it's Gordon. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Looking to go up top on first down. Gets it to the back. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To throw, it's Bowman. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. Coming after it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. And you saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try to knock it through from the right hash and 35 yards out. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. SMU is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winner Dope Walker among the legends to wear that uniform. It's less than a touchdown lead. They're trailing by six to BYU. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. From the gun, give on the inside. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. After picking up a couple at second and eight, give to the running back. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Trying to turn the corner on the right. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Razorbacks with the first and 10. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Dances away again. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wow, what an impressive looking run. You think back to some of the greatest rushing offenses in the SEC in recent years. Remember that offense that had Darren McFadden, Felix Jones, both in the backfield, sometimes taking wildcat snaps? Nobody could stop them. This dude, I think, could have broken his way into that rotation with his ability. This guy's sick. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Razorbacks! Lead 
the grab and finish the deal in the end zone. Man, this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half, but this unit looks dialed in. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So a drive there of 84 yards, and they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Like the passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. Looking for a man. It's Bowman. Caught. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And as a defensive guy, it's so hard to cover these running backs out of the backfield because he starts to go to the flat. Oh, no, I got to go cover him, and then boom. He hits that angle route, cuts right inside, gets inside of me, and now I'm just chasing him, trying to get him on the ground. Nice route by the offense. Hey, who says hitch passes can't get big yards? Receiver catches it, makes a guy miss. Fires into traffic, gets picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right there. Got his man quickly. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Sategna. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Looking to throw on second down. He's going to take off. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for a man. It's Green. Dumps it off in the flats. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Looks as if they'll stay aggressive here. They go five wide on second and three. He's looking to throw. Nowhere to go with the ball and down. He goes at the 39. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush. It's just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Complete to the right. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He wants to throw. There, lets it fly deep downfield. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. QB never saw the defender. He's staring his receiver down, telegraphing his throw, and the DB jumped all over that.
Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Here comes the offense on second down. On the run. It's Bowman. Looking left. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Now facing a third and long. The inside handoff. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. And the Cowboys decide to punt it away. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The offense lining up for a first down play. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. On second and ten, a four wide out set trips right. They'll throw again after the incompletion. They're trying to get to it. Going to try to get it himself. Nothing but on the ball's out after that big play. And the defense has it. They're going the other way. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Trying to find his man on first down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a magnificent game there so far in Stillwater. And we can't get very far into this halftime breakdown without talking about that stud linebacker. But the kid's been everywhere all at once through two quarters. From clogging gaps to causing turnovers, he's been a one-man gang. Public enemy number one for that opposing sideline. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Boone Pickens Stadium. And the Razorbacks will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions. The coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a score. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here would be huge using the quick game he steps out of bounds but he's got a first down on the play the Cowboys want to crank the tempo when you're a playmaker like this guy is your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you especially on third down. that's what you saw in that last play there was no question where the quarterback was going with that football all week long they decided on the biggest downs of this game we're going to target our best player and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. And you saw it right there on that. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game. It makes life really easy on the second down. 
In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he fires over the middle. It's incomplete. After the misconnection, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Quick strike complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Hit a speed bump on that last play. Now work to do on second and 15. Looking for room. It's Gordon. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field, and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. And it's right down the boulevard. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. SMU is currently trailing, but if this young star leads a comeback today, he could join former Heisman winner Dope Walker among the legends to wear that uniform. They're trailing by 10 to BYU. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And the coverage team able to wrestle it down. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. This proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear. One of the great quarterbacks in Arkansas history, Joe Ferguson. Yeah, just slinging the pill. Just being able to, being able to provide balance, being able to attack down the field, get people out of the box, and, and not be predictable. That's a really good job by this quarterback. He'll pull it on the read. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Throwing right. He got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Razorbacks line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game. Dude. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Presley. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Cowboys have their offense in high gear. Looking for space, it's Gordon. 
And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll run play action. Throws to the tight end. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go, blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now. But it might be too little too late. But at least you got the party started. They got the touchdown, but now they want the two to tie this baby up. Trying to run it in. He will be stopped short. The two-point conversion attempt is no good in their bid. The tie also goes by the boards. They're still down two. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Throws to the wideout. And that third down pass left a favorite trail, but it's incomplete. And the Razorbacks will bring the punt team onto the field. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grabbed in the middle. It's Owens. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. The pull and throw off the RPO. They'll move the change after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Line gets set, first down. There's no need to panic or anything, but this would be a really opportune time to put something together and try to take control of this game. And sometimes you just come out as the favorite, and, and you're a little bit flat, and you expect to win. And sometimes that leads to slow starts, but I think if they can get that passion, that adrenaline, they get a little fired up right here, I think they'll take care of business. And they just got to make a play. They just got to get something positive to happen here, sort of wake them up and then put another play back to back, and all of a sudden, they get that momentum going. We know they've got the dudes. They've got the studs on both sides of the ball to win this football game. It just needs to start with one spark. Caught behind the line. It's Gordon. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, then that... Touchdown, Cowboys! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So, been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far off from that send that offense back onto the field. He'll keep it himself. Got it up for the first. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. If you like old-school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods.
One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. And off from the shotgun. Stuffed almost in his tracks, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. Looking downfield, it's green. Quick completion on the out route. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. The Razorbacks look to keep this drive humming. Use the play fake, now to throw. Can't hold on, he had it right down the middle and he flat dropped it. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. Got it in the middle, it's Wilson. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Razorbacks will line up to punt it away. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wants it. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so good. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover. And he's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Arkansas. You're happy you got the ball back, but the defense takes it a step further and just goes ahead and gets six. Yeah, you just want to get the stop, right? And you get the stop, get the points. But guess what, Reese? I'm going to need another stop. This defense is going to be right back on the field. Unbelievable play, but you got to do it again. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. Trying to barge their way in. Into the end zone, the two-point conversion is good, and now they're up by a field goal. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Wide out in motion. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality. And he throws another interception, his third one of the night. Didn't get a chance to show off those return skills, but he gives his offense the ball at the 29. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. Getting some heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. After the misfire, now on second down. Off the play fake. On the move, he fires. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. And the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. 
no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it. Right? If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Now on second down. On the move, it's Bowman. Flips it out to the back. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. And the Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. You know, timing is so important in the RPO game, especially on third down. Quarterback and receiver just didn't have it there, and now it's fourth down. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. They can really be aggressive after that last play at 2nd and 3. The run to the right. Smashes through. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. The Razorbacks send out the punt unit. Well, third and short, I think the offense was probably expecting blitz. That's why they dialed up the screen, but it did not fool the defense. Great job defending the screen, setting up fourth. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He finds his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense, and all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty. Five yards for the offense. Scanning the field. It's Bowman. Going to take a shot. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. On second down, he's looking downfield. Grabbed behind the line. It's green. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion. Not the way they had it drawn up. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. The Cowboys will send out the punt unit. Man, you have to do everything in your power not to let your momentum carry you out of bounds short of the first down marker. Uh, and I would argue, too, maybe you run your route a little bit deeper. you got to understand where the first down marker is and where i got to get to. But, yeah, I'm not running out of bounds. I'm lowering my shoulder and trying to get as much yardage as I can to make this fourth down manageable. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. I, I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we got... He's got it down the left side. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. When you can run like that, the quarterback is going to give you opportunities. And look at him run by the defenders. QB sees it. Stick the hand up in the air. Catch the football. 
get to the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Nebraska is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Tommy Frazier, and they are right back in this. They're trailing by 10 to Colorado. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. Dropping back, it's Bowman. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Wants to go up top. Quickly complete. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And the Cowboys will hustle to the line. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages, keep the ball in front of you, and tackle the ball carrier in bounds. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and 10 from the 33. He's looking to throw. Just can't pull the trigger, and the quarterback is sacked at the 41. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Throws for the tight end. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Right down the middle. Makes a grab, and it's plenty for the first down. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. How many times do you see receivers catch the ball and dance, and you get so annoyed because you're like, dude, do you see the yellow line? Go and get it. Really nice job by the receiver with the second effort, getting the extra yards and getting the first down. He wants to throw it. Fires to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. And it's his fourth interception of the game. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Okay, you have a two-score advantage here, so while you want to be aggressive, David, don't hand them a cheap one. Dang right. I'm not being reckless. I, I can still be aggressive, but a punt is not the worst thing, Jesse, in this situation in the fourth quarter. You're right, David. You don't want to be reckless. So as a play caller here, let's dial up some things you know your quarterback sees well in the passing game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Razorbacks will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Fair catch called for and made. Offense set on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wideout. 
Got his man to the left. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Back to pass. It's Bowman. Unloads to the wideout. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. What a grab and go for the score. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. PAT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. They got the touchdown they needed. Now trailing by a field goal, they'll line up for the onside kick. Well, they try to go onside kick, but better job by the hands team falling on the football. On first down, here comes this offense. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you wound got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Reese, some might say you're not a one-trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosiveness on offense, great defense. What a tremendous win. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.